Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, let's go over Navigator. Now, in previous videos, we've gone over, up till now, mostly the GUI, right? Mostly the uh, images, the widgets that you could actually see on the screen. Now let's look at some of the more um, non-visible type of widgets themselves. The widgets that actually do stuff in the background create effects themselves. We did touch upon a lot of these, but let's keep going more for more of those. This is going to be Navigator. Now, um, let's create, well, first of all, let's set the scene. Um, we have a screen right inside of here. And if we go to a click on an area, sometimes we notice, right? We have a application, mobile application, you click on it, and it doesn't change the widget here. It changes the entire screen, right? So it's the difference like a web application, if you think about it. You click on something and something new appears on the screen. Everything else is the same, but just something new changes on the screen, maybe a word, maybe a picture or something like that. But then there is the way in which you could click on something and it's a link, right? So it opens up a whole new web page or a new page on your web application, whatever it actually is, right? So that's the difference. So on mobile applications, sometimes you want to open up a whole new screen in and of itself. You want to change the scene entirely as opposed to just changing a widget on the screen that you have, okay? So this is what, when you change it, change the entire screen, both in web applications as well as in mobile applications, it's called a route. So when you change the route, when you route something, you go from this screen and you change it to the next. So I click it here and it goes to the next scene is screen and it goes to the next scene. We're screen, excuse me. We're only going to do two screens um, in order to make it nice and simple and straightforward. Okay. So first we'll create first screen and then the second screen widget. These will, are gonna be stateless because I just, I don't wanna really make it complicated. Just show the concept of moving from one screen to the next, okay? Um, here, run app, we're gonna do the material app up here and on the home, it's gonna be first screen right here. And it's gonna say new scaffold, app bar, text, right inside of here, whoops, right inside here. Then on the body, I'm gonna have a raised button, which is centered. So I think we know all this colors.red. Here I made it colors.orange just to sh highlight the difference between the two screens. They're different screens altogether. They're not just changing the picture. They're all altogether different screens. So here's a scaffold here, and here's a scaffold, a completely different scaffold altogether. Then we're going to say on pressed. So if I have this raised button and I click on it, what actually happens? Well, it's going to send me to navigator.push. So what is Navigator? Well, Navigator basically is a widget, like everything else. It's an object that's created by the Material App widget, okay? How do you know that? You kind of just have to know that, okay? It's, there's, I, I don't think there's a, an easy way to reason something like this out. You just have to know that Navigator is, whenever you have Material App, you'll have a Navigator inside of there. So when you call the Navigator widget, Okay, just by typing it out, this is kind of like scaffold, right? Just put the scaffold, it's got to look for scaffold. Here, it's material app is not here, material app is way up here. Now, what if I put in material app here? It may actually work, but if it gets a little complicated, what happens? Well, this is material app is up here, and the navigator wants to be at the same level as the material app. So if the material app was right here, and you wanted to, to route it to a different material app, a different scaffold, right? Where is it going to go? It might get a little bit confusing. Again, a simple application may not be a big deal, but, but this is where we have to start thinking more specifically, more precisely about where our widgets are in the widget tree, right? So Navigator, it's going to look up to the material app. It's going to remove this one and it's going to push. So push means route. I don't know why they don't call it route. I think I'll get to that in the future probably. So it's going to dot push and it's going to use the context right inside of here. And then it's going to call for a new material page route. What's this material page route? It's exactly what it sounds like. You're going to go to a different material page and it's going to be routed through the push. Again, it's just something you have to remember. It's just to remember the concept. When you do navigate, navigator.push content context, and it's going to be a there's going to be a builder to the material page route, 
Where is that builder? It's going to have build context right here. Anytime you have a builder, right? And then it's going to go to a new second screen right there. And that's going to be right inside of here. So it's not that intuitive. I will admit that. Navigator, but once you get the idea, I think we can work with it. Navigator produced by material app dot push again, something you just have to remember context comma new material page route builder and it sends it to the second screen. So it goes to the second screen, the same thing, but here I'm just putting it called it the second screen right here, right here. Same thing, navigator.push contact, context, and it's gonna do the same thing. So you could send it wherever you want as long as this is a widget that you can fit inside of here in the scaffold itself, okay? Or you're, you're replacing the entire scaffold, not the material app widget, the scaffold widget, all right? So that's why the material app has to be way up here in the higher tree uh, or lower tree, depending on how you see it. Um. What else can I do? So notice here, you could click this button. It's a back button, right? So it's kind of like the same thing, a web page. You go to a web page, you click on something, you go to a different page, same. It's not a new tab or a new browser. You go to a different page, but you can always click the back button and it goes from there, right? So what you can actually do is if you want to, instead of doing the back button, all you want to do is when you click this, let me, let me restart this. If you click this, what if you want to just go back like that? Okay, click back. Well, number one, you can click the back because that's automatically built into the system. Or what you could do is go from right here, right here, and instead of navigator.push, navigator.pop. Context. I'm not exactly sure why pop if I find this out in the future, if anybody knows why these words pop and push, I'm not exactly sure where they came from. Um, if anybody knows, can you please leave a comment in the comment section? Because that would really be helpful. Because I want to go through Navigator in the next few visit videos. Show us where we can go, where we can route these, your, your position in the mobile application. Navigator.pop, what does that actually do? All that is is basically go to the previous screen as if you hit the back button. So... Go to the second screen. Notice that arrow was no longer there. It's the equivalent to hitting this button right here. So that's the navigator.pop in a nutshell. Okay, so remember here, navigator refers to the material app up here. Here, it refers to the material app up here as well. Now, of course, the, the next question is, can you use, L let's leave it at that. Okay, let's leave it at that. And we'll go over some more of these ideas in the future, but just navigator.push, navigator.pop, it just it weighs in to which you can route your app in and of itself. Oh, by the way, um, in the net material page navigator route, I, I think I'm going to go over this. It's a little bit, it's a little bit more than maybe I should, but I, I hope I'm not going to confuse things. Maintain state. If you click on here, okay, so let's pretend that these are stateful widgets, okay? So I'm on the second screen, I go to the first screen. If I go back, okay, so I click back here, I could do one of two things. So I go to the second screen, okay, let me, let me back up here. I can have a state right in my first screen, okay? I have a state right inside here, I go to the second screen, in the first screen, not the screen, the first screen, do I want to maintain that state? Do I want to keep the state correct? For example, if I, if I have like a number counter. In the first screen, do I want to remember that or do I want to forget it? If I want to remember it, maintain state equals true. If I don't really care, you go to the next screen, you delete the previous information, maintain state, false. Okay, so that's just something to keep in mind. Again, that's maybe jumping a little ahead because we, we are, these are just stateless widgets instead of stateful. But let's keep going forward with Navigator and see if we can understand it a little bit better from now on. Thanks.